All right, guys, I got him under control. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Oh my God. Hey guys, what is up? Benzo here. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing a U.S. Customs and Border Protection, otherwise known as a Border Patrol style of episode today. We have a mass caravan that has gathered at the U.S. Southern border, and I'll let you see what it looks like here. You can see our wall right there. we got some wiring right there, right over the top of that. We've got a long bridge right there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Be sure to drop a like, and hopefully I earn your subscription by the end of the episode. We're going to be looking for anybody that's trying to cross over and uh, we have reports that uh, a lot of people have been storming the gates and uh, they are probably getting inside vans and whatnot and uh, a people called uh, a coyote if you will are taking them into the united states so we're going to be looking for that and i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i've been looking all up and down the actual river here i'm not seeing anything let's get on it Okay, we're gonna get up here. Let's see what we can get into. Attention unit three, John 21, citizens report a suspicious vehicle in Great Chaparral. Here we go. Read John and copy that. On the way. Roger. Okay, we're gonna be looking for a possible, like a cargo van, if you will. It's probably housing some illegal immigrants. And I, guys, I hope you take this video in stride. This is not to be political or anything like that, so please bear with the episode. It's all for fun, guys. All right, we want to see if we can find this uh, legal cargo van up here. I'll be able to tell what it is. It looks like a, it's called a mule. It's the name of the vehicle. Be sure to look out for a Benzo timestamp, guys, around the 10 12 minute mark. You're probably going to be on this road right here. We're going to be on Zancudo Baraka. We have a traffic alert in Great Chaparral. All right, we are in a really nice vehicle to go off roading, so that's what we're going to do. We'll do a little bit of off roading here. We have a traffic alert in Great Chaparral. Okay, let's go over here. I think they're going to be right up here. Okay, we have reports that they're going to be down this direction here. We have a traffic north. alert in Great Chaparral. Okay, they're going to be right up here. There they are. We have a traffic alert in Great Chaparral. John, we have a suspect spotted. 10 4, copy that. Copy that. There they are. We have a traffic alert in That's them. Zancudo River. See the, how they're, how oh, they're rearing the people. They're trying to get away from me. Dispatch, suspect located. Moving to engage. Let's see, they're going to pull over. He's not wanting to stop. Okay, he finally came to a stop. Let's get him to move forward. Scoot up, buddy. What at you? Can pull forward a little bit more. He probably has some illegal immigrants in this vehicle. Three, John. Three, John. You get a play check on the mule. It's going to be two nine Frank Sam Victor four eight zero. Target vehicle license plate two nine Frank Sam Victor four eight zero no ten ninety nine. Copy that. John, go ahead and roll me some. Uh, Backup, please. Roger that. 
backup required in Grande Sonora Desert. Okay, we're going to talk to the local sheriff department here, get them to back us up a little bit. So it gives us a little bit more authority as well. We oh, they're taking off. Go. And Grande Sonora Desert. Assistance Gonna get some backup here. Grande Sonora Desert. Yeah, there definitely has some illegal immigrants in the back, so we don't want to really hurt people in the back. Okay, three, John, we're in pursuit of that uh, mule. We're going northbound on West Joshua Road. Speed's approximately 30 miles per hour. Light traffic. 10-4. I'm going to request a pit, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get one on here, on this thing. Okay, we're clear for a pit, if we can. Backup required in... Get Grande some air support Sonora as well. Desert. We do have an air unit coming up above us here. Since we're real close to the border, we'll be able to get one pretty quick. Hey John, we're still in pursuit of the uh, mule. We're heading eastbound on West Joshua Road. Let me see if I can get in front of them. Okay, get out. Right there, Police, stay. Stop whatever the hell you're doing. Okay, we got him. Sorry about that lag spike there. Okay, we do have uh, one person down. Okay, let's see if there's only one person here. Looks like they only had one person in the back. Easy, guys. Don't run him over, man. Let me go ahead and get him under arrest real fast. Get him detained. Okay, looks like they only have one person. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Let's go ahead and shut this down. Sorry for the uh, frame loss here. I think it may have something to do with this vehicle smoking. Usually my game's pretty stable. Sorry about that. Let me get my vehicle out of the way. The frames will go up here. There we go. It's a little better. What is going on? Alright, I need to get him out to again. And uh, let me talk to this lady right here. Yeah, her pupils really dilated too. Ma'am, can you go ahead and turn around away from me? I know she speaks Spanish, but kind of bear with me. I don't really speak good Spanish. Okay, we're going to pat her down see if she has anything on her. Uh, she doesn't really have a lot, really, to be honest. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll grab her, and then we're going to put her in the back of our unit over here. So we'll probably put, him, put her in the back of this unit here. Let her go with him, because it's a uh, catch and uh, detain. So she'll be detained. And then she can file out, fill the proper paperwork for possible asylum, if that's what she's wanting to do. It must be the the vehicle here that's causing a lot of frame loss. So I'm just going to investigate the back of this vehicle real quick. I'm going to let this vehicle go. Okay, I was hoping to maybe get in the vehicle. It's not going to let me. All right, 3John, let me get a 51 location, please. For that mule. 3John, roger. Okay, let's get this guy out of here. I want to pat him down. All right, sir. Step out, please. Sir. I want to question you. So, what have you been do What are you doing, man? He says it's none of your business. So, where did you come from? Perhaps the border? Oh, you're saying you came from the hospital. So, where are you heading to? He says going to my friend's house. I bet you are. Okay, anything illegal on you? He says, perhaps I have some. <laughs> He's being a little too honest here. 
All right, turn around, please. Better not have uh, stashed anything in the back of my seat back there, too. Okay. All right, he's got a cell phone to some... He does have pepper spray on him, which is interesting. Okay. Synthate, por favor. Aqui. All right, we'll let him get in there. And we're going to go ahead and call for another Border Patrol unit out here. And then I will go ahead and let Assistance them go with them. Since we're supposed to be working more closer Roger to the border. To here they come. On standby. Roger. All right, he'll go with that Border Patrol agent right there. All right. They'll uh, process him. He is known as a coyote. Which, uh, more than likely is a legal citizen here in the United States. And he, he works, uh, close to the border and he gets paid money to smuggle people across. Unfortunately, a lot of people may die in his care, so it's not good to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, uh, close again to the border. And we'll be right back. Okay, back again at the border. You can see the long bridge that they have to cross right there. And uh, we got a lot of razor wire up there. There's the wall right there. We had to close down our the biggest southern border just recently because we had a mass uh, rush towards the gate. Right now it seems pretty quiet. All this is blocked off, so there should not be Anybody crossing over that except for maybe some personnel, police personnel, and border patrol. Policia Federal. Dispatch calling unit 3, John 21. Citizens report a suspicious vehicle on Route 68. John, I'll take that. Okay, we have a suspicious vehicle again. I said some people got through and they were able to get a hold of some of Coyotes. Taking them across. We have a traffic alert on Route 68. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to catch up to them again. And they're probably going to be in the same type of vehicle. Like a post net. We have a traffic alert on Route 68. Or it may be like a white cargo van. That's what we're looking for now is a white cargo van. But they're probably going to be in this road right here. We have a traffic alert on... Route 68. Yeah, it's going to be U.S. Route 68. And yeah, let's see if we can catch up to them here, guys. We have yeah, a traffic alert on Route 68. Okay, they're going to be right up here on Route 68. And there they go right there. There's a white van. White cargo van. They're going to be right here on the bridge. Not sure why the officer's not helping me out, but that's all right. We're the one that got the call on that down. We have a traffic alert on a Great Ocean Highway. Okay, I'm going to try to catch them before they get in that tunnel there. Dispatch, suspect located. Moving to engage. Okay, there's two of them, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. Can I get over, please? Did I check? All right, guys, this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and leave a Benzo timestamp, guys. This is an official Benzo timestamp. Look at your video time, not your PC time, but your video time. Look down at that video time. Post it down below in the comment section and do a hashtag Benzo Effect. All one word, Benzo Effect. Video time and then hashtag Benzo Effect. That's all you have to do, and I'll try to do my best to reply back to you. Thank you guys so much for doing that. That's mean your communication to how long you've been watching the video. Appreciate it, guys. Three, John. Let's go ahead and get a play check for a mule three six 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 eight boy Frank Ocean 951. Target vehicle license plate six eight boy Frank Ocean 951. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Roger that. And uh, dispatch, go ahead and roll me some backup, please. Roger that. Thank you. Assistance required in Lago Zancudo. Okay, we got another backup unit behind us. Okay, 
Here they come. We're probably going to shut down this whole road right here. Okay, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Oh, We've got a oh. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. In, <laughs> Go. Uh, Man. Okay, they're taking off again. These poor immigrants in the back here. At right, 3 John, we're in pursuit of that Mule 3. It's going to be northbound US Route 1. It speeds approximately 50 miles an hour, and it's going to be live traffic. 10 4, copy that. Let's go ahead and get another air unit uh, just to make it more legit. Attention all units, we've got units requesting air support over North Chumash. Since this is a since this is a border security type problem, we're, we've got our news helicopters now. <laughs> Hit the spruce up the episode a little bit, guys. <laughs> okay, border patrol, and uh, we have our news helicopters falling behind here. All right, here we go. Attention, all units. We've got units requesting helicopter support <laughs> over North Chumash. Look at the map, guys. Look at the map. Seven, Holy shit. Over. <laughs> we are airborne and in route. All right, Three John, we have uh, news helicopter support. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, wow, look at those rounds. Pull it over, lady. We're not joking. Pull it over. We are not joking. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, she's gonna die now. Get down, man. Get down. <laughs> Look at all his bullet holes. Uh oh. Oh no. We're going down. <laughs> Ah, uh, dang, this is so politically not correct. <laughs> get down, man. I'm trying to save your life. Get down. Maria, get down. Okay, so she's... Uh oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have called this much backup. Alright, guys, I got them under control. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> my god. Holy shit. And my game just crashed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was too many news. Too many news. All right, guys, well, you guys take care, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just show you another image here. I really do appreciate everybody that kind of watched the episode and stuff. I know it got a little silly there towards the end, but thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for the patrons and the, the members of the Benzo Effect channel. You guys take care, and we'll see you on the next patrol. Later, guys.